All right, so a nice little slow morning this morning. Uh, it's almost 12 o'clock now, so boy, the morning's gone by, but we had a lazy morning in the morning, which was kind of nice. Uh, started watching uh, last weekend's Formula One. Didn't get through the whole thing, but uh, that's a passion of mine. Uh, what we're gonna do this morning is, oh, Joey second in a thing. Flag is in rough shape, isn't it? Uh, I guess the windstorm the other day kind of tattered that up pretty good, so I got to get a new one of those. Uh, but anyways, my son is, uh, I got him a go-kart last year for his birthday and I've been having problems with it. So I got to take that back to the guy that I bought it from and he is going to fix it for me. And then um, the property that we uh, flipped is, uh, we got some, some things to pull out of there as well. So we're going to do that and then I have a showing in Kitchener and then back here for some showing. So that's my long weekend so far. We got the pool open yesterday. Kids had a swim. <laughs> Frosty, but they uh, quite enjoyed it. You got a problem with the pool eater. Low flow. That means I got a bunch of crap in my screen that's uh, not letting it get a good flow to get the uh, safety pressure valve off, so I have to uh, go and clean that out. But I'll do that later on because I want to get the go kart in the back of the truck. All right, on my way to Cambridge, take back the go-kart. Basically what's happening is um, the engine, I guess, isn't running very smoothly. And uh, I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I don't know a lot about small engines. I'm really just getting into this because I'm a big Formula One fan. Uh, my son, I mean, what son doesn't love riding go-karts? Heck, what adult male doesn't love riding go-karts all the time? So um, I'm probably living a little bit vicariously through my son by getting him into, uh, into go-kart racing. But in any event, the engine isn't running overly smoothly. Uh, it'll run, it'll, it'll start usually first pull, but then if it stalls out, it just won't start again. Um, I've changed the fuel, I've got the carburetor cleaned out, I've uh, done a number of things. Anyways, and I just don't know what's going on. So I'm taking it back to the guy and he's gonna get it sorted out for me, thankfully. So uh, looking forward to being able to just run on the track uh, this summer pretty good. So that's where I'm headed right now. Another reason that I'm heading out to Cambridge is uh, we just flipped a property there and so the neighbor has, has seen the, the lawn chair that is left outside uh, moving around the house, around the windows and stuff like that, and they're afraid that somebody's trying to break in. Um, so I'm gonna go check it out and make sure that um, that nobody did break in. I'll put the lawn chairs away and turn some lights on and, and uh, leave them on there for a little while and uh, hopefully give people the impression that people live there. All right, just got here. I'm gonna unload the go-kart and get it worked on, hopefully. So I just got the go-kart all fixed up there, hopefully anyways. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the issue was with it, but I don't know, the guy seems to think it's running fine now, so time will tell once I get back and uh, get Matthew on the cart a couple of times and see if it works as well as it's supposed to. But uh, I got, it took a long time, uh, and I had, uh, when I was there, he ended up working with somebody else because mine was gonna take a long time, and the other guy ended up taking probably way longer than I would have, so I got bumped out, and now I am late. You know, you try to cram everything into, into a, a finite amount of time, and uh, it doesn't work, so I'm kind of feeling a little bit stressed and, and guilty and all kinds of things. Um, mostly because you try to fit some of your own personal stuff into your busy work schedule and uh, you always feel like you're letting somebody down here but you know 
if I'm not letting somebody else down, it's my son, right? So uh, I've been having these issues with this go-kart since, uh, since I bought it last fall. And uh, he asks me all the time, There's nothing worse than saying, you know, Daddy, can we go play with the go-kart? And I say, sorry, but it's not working. Uh, so, you know, look on his face. I got to put him first right now. So, yeah. anyways, uh, got to get this done. And then I got to head back to Milton for, uh, for an appointment at 4, which I've already let them know I'm running late for. <laughs> so, thankfully, I built in a bit of a buffer with that one. So, instead of being the hour late for them, I'll only be a half an hour late, which isn't really late. I'll still be within my time slot. Real estate life. Hey guys, we're at the end of the street, and um, my brother is um, on his go, go kart over there. My little brother is on my my brother, my other brother's scooter. Look. So. Show you my brother. Let's see, what did I do? I literally have no idea what I did. No, no. Oh, oh gosh. Daddy! Hold on. Um, I cannot get to where I did. What are you, what are you trying to do? Okay. So, oh, we cut off that part of the video. Yeah, I'm gonna show you my brother now. the end of the night. I'm trying to find my computer because I want to edit this video here. I'm sitting in the laundry room and I don't know where my computer is. Worst of all, I think it might be in one of the cars, but I can't find my keys. I've looked everywhere. No keys. Truck keys. So not in Lisa's purse. Put it on my cluttered shelf. Put it in my coat pocket. I'm going for the spares. Spares. And then as I'm walking by, I seem to notice, hmm, what's this? Yeah, the car keys are in the bucket. My kid's bucket. That's where the car keys belong. So I've got my car keys, both sets, still no computer. <laughs>